Good day everyone, welcome to our Tech Support Centre in Johannesburg, South Africa. Today we're going to explain a little bit more about the islanding mode functional on the Sunslink hybrid inverters. We see in many countries throughout the world that, you know, they use our inverters in a grid-tied mode. Now, with the energy crisis that we experience in South Africa, and the terminology we use for it is load shedding, where we go through periods of the day without power. So normally it's two and a half hour stints at a time, two to three times a day. So we're, in, we're out between sort of five and, and seven and a half hours a day per area. It's split across multiple uh, sections, etc. So we are very used to using the SunSync inverters in ways that the rest of the world's really not used to as yet. And with the oncoming energy crisis that's going to be experienced throughout you know, other parts of the world, we would just like to take this opportunity to, to explain a bit more about how the inverter actually can be in an island mode when the grid falls away. So when it comes to island moding on the SunSync inverter, a battery is required. Now remember, sizing of the battery will be required for whatever your load out will be during the times that you're without grid. So, you know, if you have an eight kilowatt load over, you know, two and a half hours, you will need to cater for that. With the inverter, as it falls out of grid mode with a battery in place, it will go into islanding mode. What this means is that the inverter will then power its load port with 220, 230 volts, depending on your selection, and support any DB that has been split onto that load port. We see it a lot in South Africa where we have it split non-essentials on your grid side, essentials on the, on the load side. Once the grid falls away, that non-essentials will fall away, but the grid, uh, the load will actually power the essentials of, of the house. So, so, you know, your lights, your TV, Wi-Fi, computers, you know, you can, obviously, with incapability of the inverter, then power whatever your needs are during that time where the grid is no longer available. It's become an absolute necessity in South Africa, and we have become, you know, market leaders in supplying solar systems and backup systems to people within our country who rely on, you know, power during periods where there is no power. So we'll just run through it, basically, uh, there are no special settings on the inverter for it to go into islanding mode. Like I said, you will require...